prior to these techniques, I, I want, we had to make sure that he didn't have any arterial insufficiency, decreased sensation, paralysis of the limb, um, and these would have been confirmed before the MLD techniques, before we even came to the compression therapy technique. So do you have any questions before we begin treatment? All right, and if you have any at the end, just let me ask. Got all the equipment necessary needed to perform this technique. How are you doing today? My name is Julian Bailey. I'm be a physical therapist. What I'm going to do first is um, we're going to do a technique with some compression wrapping to kind of help with this lymphedema you have in your right arm. What it's going to do is going to help drain the fluid. We're going to do some exercises too that will help also drain some of this fluid to get rid of some of the heaviness and pain and some of the other symptoms you've been feeling. Um, I need you to pay attention while I'm performing this. Um, I need because you, you're going to take, if you ever have to take it off, I want you to be able to put it back on. I need you to pay attention while we're doing the exercises so that way you can do all this at the house and do it all by yourself. Okay. Kenny, do you mind if I touch you? No, I'll be fine. All right, good. We're going to be working on this upper extremity. We're going to roll this up. Mm -hmm. and can I have you lay on your back? Prior to this, we've already done all the skin inspections to make sure the skin's good and clean. We've had it washed and lotioned up to be moisturized. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to have you spread your hand out just like that. We're going to put an anchor on first. First thing we're gonna do is gonna put gauze on here. So I need you to pay attention. We're gonna gauze, you're gonna anchor first, and then you're gonna start on the pinky first and work your way to the other fingers. It's a really easy, simple technique. It's gonna use compression and exercise to help decrease this fluid you're having. I want you to be able to be able to move your fingers. I don't want them to feel cold, no no tingling. I want you to be able to feel your fingers. So that's the key. I don't want you to feel no numbness or tingling or your fingers actually feeling cold like near your fingernails. Major key is make sure the palm's nice and exposed. Next, we're gonna put the compression stocking on. So your next step, we're gonna put the compression stocking on. Okay, you have to wrap the fingers. The easiest way up, after you wrap your fingers, the easiest way is to roll it up like this. Put it over the fingers. Make sure your thumb goes through that little hole. Biggest thing is to make sure it's comfortable. Next move is you're going to add some padding. What I want you to do is you're going to add extra around the wrist. The point of this is to make it all cylindrical in the same shape. So you want it all to be one shape since your arm is different shape with different parts. So you get extra around the wrist. And you go from the wrist. If they have fibrotic adhesions or anything, you can put padding in the palm. They have a foam padding that you can put in the palm that you would cut to the shape of the hand. And you can use it anywhere else there's fibrosis to help break that up. Next, you want to add extra padding here in the elbow. Add the plaza. What you do is you double it up.
keep tight to bend your elbow enough. Good. Next, we're going to have to compression wrap up. This one's actually going to go around your hand. Mm -hmm. So, how many times you go in? Just enough that it's all covered. So, you go all the way to the fold of your hand. When you get here to the thumb, I want you to fold it under. Mm -hmm. What is that for? That's so that way it doesn't cause friction. Okay. direction that you were going. Mm -hmm. So this one uh, this way, now I want you to come this way. There's no gaps. Start going in the opposite direction. Next thing we'll do, we'll teach you some exercises. They're real simple. Do some active assistive range of motion. What you're going to do is you're going to use both hands. You bring both arms up and you bring the pole towards your waist. And you come back all the way up. to your chest and back up, and things of that nature. Help reduce some of this fluid in this arm and get some more range of motion in it. And that's it. <laughs>